quantum engineering was largely driven by the so-called second quantum revolution. And you say second quantum revolution, I've never heard of the first. Well, the first quantum revolution is really the transistor, right? It's what gives you the phone that's in your pocket that allows you to, you know, look at cat videos or do your job. The second quantum revolution is really driven by so-called four pillars. So there's computing and simulation, which are very linked to one another, but still somewhat different. And then there's sensing, which, you know, one can think, you know, sensing inertial motion or sensing fields like magnetic fields or even timekeeping metrology is typically linked in with sensing. But then you've got communications, which we also do quite a bit of here in Bristol. And so that's a way to use the nature of quantum mechanics to send and receive and decode secure communications. And so that's, that's really, you know, what quantum engineering is.